So some people approach prayer with the list of demands, like, uh, God, I want you to do this, and when you get done, here's another thing. And sorry for the reminder, but you forgot to get done the thing I asked for two days ago. I needed it yesterday. In Jesus' name, amen. Some even teach that praying with real faith is telling God what you want, when you want it, and that you will not take no for an answer. So is praying, your will be done, a cop-out? Well, let's learn from Jesus. Matthew 26, 39, and going a little farther, he fell on his face and prayed, saying, My father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me, never, nevertheless, not as I will, but as you will. This, this was the most intense prayer of Jesus's life. Luke tells us that his sweat was like drops of blood falling on the ground, um, a sign of unimaginable stress. Jesus emotionally expressed his desire, but he concluded, not as I will, but as you will. So when I talk to God, I can and I should express my personal desires, just like Jesus did. And just like Jesus, I hand over my desires to the perfect will of God. I am not omniscient. God is. I don't know what's going to happen in the future. God does. I want what I think to be good for me today. But God knows what will be good for me tomorrow. So, Father, thank you for the privilege of bringing my desires to you. Thank you for allowing me to share my heart openly and honestly with you. Father, I pray for the things on my heart, but I also pray your will be done. And I pray in Jesus' name. Amen.